Hello Gemini, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 14th of November until the 20th of November 2016. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Ace of Cups. There would be a new beginning of love, happiness and compassion in your life. It can indicate the start of a new relationship, be it a friendship or a romance. This is one of those relationships where you feel the sense of excitement and you are so pleased to have met someone with whom you can share a special connection. The water in the card reflects the flow of emotion and thus the Ace of Cups suggests that positive emotion and energy will be created between two people in a way that leaves you feeling good about yourself and life in general. You need to experience the feeling of new love or of giving and receiving unconditional love. Give and accept love on a new level and open your heart to what is around you. Your loving ways will magnetize love to you. This card often means that love is the essence of the situation. It may or may not be romantic love. Look for ways in which you can begin to connect with others. Do you have someone to forgive, or do you want to ask for forgiveness? Can you set aside your anger and find peace? Would you like to drop your reserve and let your feelings show? This is a peaceful time in your life so use it and make peace with friends or yourself. The Ace of Cups is also about creative expression, particularly where there is an opportunity to allow your emotions to shine through. You are very open to experiencing your inner feelings and sharing them with others. You may be inspired to start a new creative project, take up an art class or two or even engage in interpretative dance. You are at that point in your life where you feel comfortable with who you are and what you feel and you are not afraid to express that part of yourself to others. You see new potential in allowing your creative juices to flow and as such, you are open to new possibilities and stimulating your imagination to allow your talent to unfold. There is certainly a generous, compassionate component to the Ace of Cups. This is a time of giving, not taking, and offering yourself to a new opportunity to help others. You have the power to bring great happiness to others and to share your contentment and positive energy. You will also find that the more you give, the more you receive on multiple levels. The Ace of Cups often points to fertility. From a very literal point of view, this means that the Ace of Cups can indicate conception, pregnancy or birth. There may be the birth of a new idea or a spark of new inspiration. It can represent the beginning of a project in which a great deal of loving and creative energy is invested. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Seven of Wands. What do you want most right now is to maintain your position at the top while others compete and fight to achieve the same success and status that you have already achieved. Thus, competition is rife and you must continually prove yourself with the Seven of Wands. If your vision and creative effort is fulfilled to the point where there is public acclaim or acceptance of your success then you must expect competition and challenge as other people will no doubt also desire the same things as you. There is a challenge to the continued success of a venture or creative project from an external source. While it appears to block your path forward, you can overcome this challenge or obstacle by drawing upon your strong self-confidence, self-belief and continual self-improvement. It can also be overcome with effort and clarity of purpose. The Seven of Wands is about holding your ground, despite ongoing challenges to your position and authority. You need to take a stand and defend your position at all costs. This will take courage and persistence but you have the strength and determination to do it. You see yourself as a battler and no matter what the challenge, you still have it in you to stand up for yourself and fight to the end. So. 
Although you are experiencing a number of setbacks at the moment, you need to continue fighting for what you believe in and confronting others who may oppose or threaten you. There needs to be acceptance with this card that you are not always going to be able to win everyone over. There will always be challenges and opposition to your point of view and you cannot keep everyone happy all of the time. Thus, now is the time to draw your line in the sand, and say, this is who I am and this is what I need right now. There cannot be any compromise or negotiation at this time, just hold your ground with determination and courage. From quite a literal perspective, this card can indicate that you will be required to give a speech or write a paper on a contentious or highly debated issue. You will need to be ready to defend your argument and present hard facts that support your point of view. Expect to be challenged but enjoy this challenge as it will help you to create an even more robust argument. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Queen of Cups. You are afraid of your negative emotional mental state play in your head. You are allowing your imagination to run away with you. You mean well but unfortunately you cannot be relied on. You are letting your emotions take hold and you are not thinking clearly with your head. At its worst, the precious qualities of imagination and flowing fantasy might turn out to be weakness and thoughtlessness, turning in any direction that any wind may blow, getting lost in a dream world of unreal fantasies. You are becoming easily overwhelmed by emotion, and you are becoming moody, unstable, brooding, suspicious and overly secretive. The Queen of Cups represents an over-emotional wreck who can be driven to manipulative and vindictive behavior. Your mood swings are making life difficult for others and you are emotionally draining on those around you. You tend to play the emotional heartstrings to your advantage. Within you, you may also harbor angst and self-loathing for your inability to do more with yourself and your talents. This card heralds a time when separating the emotions from any sense of sensibility may be difficult. Strong emotions may seem to take all parties on a roller coaster ride. Within projects, jobs, or workplaces, all members may feel their emotions are a little frayed from stress. With this in mind, the Queen of Cups also warns against entering into any agreements with those who seem to play on your sense of guilt or pull on your emotional heartstrings, for they may not be what they seem. The Queen of Cups can indicate an over-reliance on other people's emotional responses, which may result in a codependency type relationship. You may want to examine your current relationships. Is the codependency? Are you giving too much of yourself and not getting anything in return? This queen nurtures for the sake of inducing dependency, and places undue importance on being in a relationship, no matter what its quality. There could also be a tendency towards having too many expectations from your partner. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the queen of pentacles. You will be able to live independently, with a stable income and with enough time and space to also nurture your family and loved ones. You may be trying to create a better balance between your home and work lives, giving it your all in both domains and trying not to compensate one for the other. At the same time, you are also able to find time to invest in yourself and ensure that you have enough me time in between all of your other commitments. The Queen of Pentacles represents prosperity and security. She suggests that you have worked hard to generate a level of financial or physical security which, in turn, gives you the ability to be generous with others and to share your wealth and prosperity with those you love. You have used your financial prosperity to build a comfortable home environment and you are focused on investing in your family, as well as your personal wealth. This queen asks you to maintain a compassionate, nurturing, 
practical and down-to-earth attitude when it comes to dealing with others and your present circumstances. You need to focus on creating a calm and balanced life for yourself. You need to be resourceful and practical, dealing with issues as they arise and coming up with realistic and simple solutions that fix the problem with minimal fuss. The Queen of Pentacles is also able to find a use for everything in the home, and is very handy and versatile. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the Three of Wands. There may have been some unexpected delays and creative blockages to your path. There is disappointment and frustration, and a general feeling that you may have just wasted your time by even starting on this journey. What you may not realize, however, is that these setbacks are in fact an important part of your bigger life journey and will have contributed to your personal development anyway. You may also be struggling to put your plans into action and you are now feeling worried that you have gotten in over your head and tasks appear overwhelming. You may have had a lack of foresight and were unable to detect the challenges as they arose, or you may have been unrealistic about the risks associated with your plans. Break down your plans into smaller tasks to make them more manageable and more realistic. Conduct a risk assessment ahead of time to understand what challenges you may potentially face, and then create mitigation plans to avoid or minimize those risks. This card may also indicate a lack of cooperation, wasted efforts, delays, or bad luck or obstacles from outside in commercial ventures. You may be dealing with a business partner or another business that is only out for their own material gain, and as such, you are at risk of being betrayed in your business pursuits. You may also find that there are shipping delays or product manufacturing delays, particularly if you rely on an overseas source as part of your business. You know that you need to be open to receiving help but you are also concerned about others exploiting you for their own gain. In term of your relationship, there is a fundamental issue of not being able to pursue your longer term goals together. Your partner may want to travel or to expand their horizons by moving interstate or internationally but you may be reluctant to do so, putting an obstacle in your partner's course. This is becoming a major issue for the relationship. For the relationship to work in the long term, you need to work this out together and come to a compromise. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Five of Swords. If you have been aggressive in your struggles, then you will soon accomplish your objectives. However, if you have been passive, you may need to compromise on your personal interests, giving in to the wishes of the opposing force. You will feel that there are more obstacles ahead, and you will not want to face the ordeal you know you must if you are to have what you want or the way you want it. Overall, you are in for a struggle and there is more work or problems ahead than you are aware of now. Things will not go as well as they should and you will have conflicts or clashes of will with others. Thus, the Five of Swords is a card representing ambition but in the negative sense. Too much ambition without regard to the consequences to yourself or others results ultimately in a situation of loss for everyone. You may be represented either by the callous winner or the dejected losers. In any case, there is a negative connotation. If your focus is solely on winning your goals at any cost, you will eventually discover to your own dismay that the price of winning may not have been worth the reward. Arrogance and pride often go hand in hand with a difficult triumph such as this, and you must be careful not to think you are invincible. You have overcome a challenge, and you have the right to feel proud but know that there will be other rivals to face and that some of them will eventually defeat you. Boasting to others that you are invincible is an invitation for someone to prove you wrong. If your victory was won through cheating or unethical conduct, beware of an attempt at vengeance. 
The advice of the Five of Swords is to pick your battles. You may be tempted to fight every conflict to ensure you get your way, to prove that you are right, or to defend yourself when you are feeling challenged or threatened by another person. However, most experts agree, choosing your battles wisely is a much better way of life than battling out every disagreement. Not only will picking your battles lead to a more peaceful existence, it is also more likely to strengthen your interpersonal relationships. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is. Think about it. This card asks you to step back from your current path or thought process and review the situation you're asking about. There's an unseen aspect, and the angels guide you to slow down so you can move forward with the whole picture in sight. This card can also be cautionary, if you were about to make a radical change impulsively. While it may still be the best path, this card asks you to look into the alternatives first. As an indigo, you're exquisitely sensitive to energy, and your mission is to heal and transform negative energy into positive. However, there's always a better way to do so. This card asks you to research your options for making the healthful changes that are part of your Indigo mission. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.